Hey guys, I'm Mike Dawson and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk a little bit about my physio session with a guy called Andrew Coldwell up at the Chase Golf Club. So I went and visited Andrew uh, about two months ago now. We did an hour's golf screening, a golf specific movement, testing the functionality and strength of different areas of my body. And then after that, about a week later, Andrew sent me a very in-depth report of how well certain parts of my body moved, how well certain other parts moved, how some were lacking in strength compared to other parts, and how immobile certain parts of my body were. So I'm just going to talk you through some of the things we discovered through this session with Andrew why it's a great idea for you guys to have a golf specific screening and how this will affect my game going forward what i'm doing to address these weaknesses and how it can also affect your game Okay guys, so one of the weaknesses we found in my body when I did the screening with Andrew was some of the rotation in my hips. If I lift my leg up like this, I can turn my foot quite easily in towards my other leg. But if I want to turn my foot out in this direction here, I'm very, very limited rotation moving my hip that way. How this affects me in the golf swing then, as I start to move down from the top of my back swing and try and rotate my hips, you can see that this knee needs to move inwards in order for this hip to clear, otherwise this right leg is going to be moving in towards the ball and it's basically going to make me early extend. My hips aren't going to be rotating, they're going to be moving in towards the ball instead of rotating around and using my entire body to create power in the golf swing. Okay, so Andrew has given me a full stretching and gym program to address some of the issues that we found in the golf specific screening. And I want to show you a few of the exercises he's given me specifically for that hip rotation. So the first one is lying on my side like this, normal posture and everything, legs kind of 45 degree angle. 
then I'm just going to keep the rest of my body very still and all I'm going to do is lift this right foot into the air whilst keeping my right knee on my left knee. So this is working to increase that rotation and honestly it looks really easy. I find it incredibly difficult. About there is the limit of how far I can actually get that leg working in that direction. The second exercise he's given me is lying on my back then with my legs again about 45 degrees quite wide apart feet flat on the floor and all I'm going to do is try and alternately move one knee in to try and touch the floor so I'm just going to try and touch my right knee to the floor my hips and my back can move a little bit in this movement they can turn to try and help my knee get closer to the floor just as they would in the golf swing so it's quite a slow movement giving it a good three or four seconds at the bottom of the movement to try and get that knee as physically close to the floor as I can again this looks I'm sure it looks very very easy I find it incredibly difficult and the first time I ever did this movement I was like amazed because I just felt stretching in my hips and tendons in places where I've never even felt any sort of movement that I had never stretched before in my entire life. Remember to subscribe to my channel guys, it really does help me out a lot. Hit that bell icon to be notified of all my future content. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks guys.